We've had a number of discussions uh, over the last two years. Uh, I do not entirely support the proposed CD1, and um, while I plan to vote with reservations on this amendment, I do plan to work with both yourself and community members and Department of Parks and Recreation, as well as Hawaii Tourism Authority and other tour operators, because I think we need to find um, a means of providing a mechanism for reasonable permitting. And if there are, you know, folks within Department of Parks and Recreation who have envisioned a permitting system that could be done in a fair and consistent manner, then that is something that I think is really worth our um, fuller consideration in line with the, um, the specific conditions that you have in your proposed CD1. I do appreciate, however, you know, the fact that it's very frustrating for communities when uh, they see violations or uh, problems occurring and the departments and city agencies or state agencies are unable to assist them in resolving them. So I do intend to work further with you. Um, I don't know yet how I would vote. Uh, for the council meeting, but I think this is a, a work in progress, and you know it's it's important for us to to try and get everyone on the same page. Thank you very much, Council Member Fukunaga. Council Member Elefante. Thank you, Chair Anderson. Uh, I appreciate and commend you for all your hard work uh, as you being the council member of the district uh, representing this area. It's been a long process, many numerous challenges, and I think achieving a win-win type of relationship or goal is always what we want to strive for. Uh, I will be in support of uh, your recommendation, Chair. However, I'll be voting with reservations. And I'd like to um, gather more facts, uh, in particular the questions I asked to the Director of Parks and Recreations and to the Honolulu Police Department with respect to citations or number of permits. I'd like to see that information. Uh, the other several other concerns I do have is with respect to the cap and the amount of uh, permits being issued. Uh, I feel that there, um, that cap number could be a little higher than what's being uh, currently proposed. And then finally, um, the other uh, concern that I do have is with respect to um, the separation of powers uh, between this body and uh, the administration. I know that we are the lawmaking body and the administration is uh, would be the body that would implement um, policy that we enact here at the council. But uh, those are the concerns that, that I do have um, and I do appreciate uh, members of the community from Waimanalo uh, for coming out and sharing um, your knowledge about the situation and be living there and experiencing what you go through. I personally don't know what you go through, but thank you for giving us insight um, to what happens there. And for those that may be on the other side, as well as, as this measure um, and may not agree with what's being proposed, I do appreciate your thoughts and comments. So, so with that, Chair, I'll, I'll be supporting this, but with reservations. Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember Elefante. Members, any additional comments in regards to the chair's recommendation to amend to the posted CD1? Okay. If not.